clipping and back formation again a process of derivation so clipping creation of new words by truncation of an existing word we cut the existing word to make a new word for example this is very common in nicknames so many nicknames are formed via this process rob from robert trish from patricia two from suzanne some other nouns for example we use them in our everyday usage ad from advertisement coed from coeducation type of or typographical error fan for fanatics so these are very common example of clipping that are uh, used by every one of us another uh, from uh, another process is folk etymology this happen when speaker reinterpret a form typically a borrowing from another language on the basis of words or morphemes that already exist in the language so they borrow the words from other language and form the uh, a new word with the help of the of the morpheme that exist in their languages so example of folk et etymologies cockroach from spanish uh, spanish word cucaracha which hazel from which and weak hazel uh some linguists do not uh, take it a true derivational process however whenever we talk about word uh, making processes this is mentioned in the list another uh, process of making new word is back formation the creation of a word by removing what appears to be an a fix right an example of historical reanalysis and not a productive derivational process responsible for occurrence of words such as surveil from surveillance liposec from liposuction so the word is back formation this process is back formation some very uh, familiar words that we find in our daily use paddle that is from paddler so we have created paddle which is taken as its verb a paddler as a noun similarly we have edit we taken it from editor right removing or from it and it serve now as its verb so these are some of the examples of back formation historically cherry comes from old norman french that has the spelling c h e r i s e but it it is the near pronunciation of cherries right so the englishman when came across this word they remove the s considering it a plural s so as a result this was known as cherry so similarly we have p from peace in order to recognize whether a form has resulted from back formation or clipping it is often necessary to know its history we have to look at the etymology of the word that from which language it has come from so unless we know that this word comes from this language belongs to that language we cannot very precisely know that it is a uh, back formation or it is clipping it is as a result of uh, clipping or as a result of doing back formation so let's look at some word and their uh, word process for example garage sale we have a word garage sale and that is the as a result of word formation process of compounding word refuse nick its affixation affix by uh, the surface is, is affixed to it babysitter we have babysit it is back formation you can see that et uh, er is removed blanket used as noun and blanket used as verb it is zero derivation we talked about that generally children uh, use it more than uh, the elders cheese hot dog cheese dog so it is blending we have blend two words asparagus sparrow grass it is from the 
folk etymology from Latin or Greek. So these are some example of uh, word uh, formation or derivational process, compounding, affixation, clipping, back, back formation, uh, right? Acronyms. So they are a creative use of the language. They tell that the language user are continuously in the process of using language creatively, right? Some of the some of the aspects are being or some of the processes are being used by children and some by the adult users, some by the uh, the uh, technical users of a certain field. So this is a very common process, and all languages to some extent use the these process or some of the process one way or the other.